Welcome to Desert Planet 2. This map is uh, in the current ladder rotation. If you're watching this video several weeks after its release, Desert Planet 2 may have rotated out, but uh, since it's still in the larger pool of possible ladder maps, it might as well rotate back in at some point. So uh, pay attention, this tutorial is going to improve your ladder skills. We can loosely categorize games on this map into four stages. Expansion T2 Air, T3 Land and T3 Air. And uh, most people make mistakes that make them lose the game in the expansion stage. Even if they survive the stage itself, it uh, gets themselves into a bad position from which they can't recover. So uh, let's start there. Uh, this map has four entrances, here, 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 and here. That's why we need three factories that send units into three of the four entrances, and we send the ACU into the last one. It's uh, really that simple. Think of it as defending a castle with four gates, and all gates are open at the start of the game, and you have to close and defend them. It has never been so easy to come up with a build order, we uh, need one factory for engineers and uh, three factories for land units and one factory for air because uh, having no air really sucks. There is a hydro close by, so let's do hydro rush. And all pieces added together, you open with land, you build three mass extractors with your ACU and uh, then you build the hydro with your first two engineers and the ACU over there. And uh, then you build three power generators and the air factory after the hydro and two power generators and three land factories next so let's count the power generators the five power generators and the hydro that's the same as ten power generators and uh, well four power generators and the ACU income are going to be enough for the first factory and initial builders we're going to have three power generators for the air factory and uh, three power generators for the three land factories. So no witchcraft. Just like in the generic build order tutorial. The only thing that changes is uh, the order. And the power generators get priority treatment. And that's because uh, the first two engineers build all their stuff together with the ACU. Instead of uh, just having the ACU build everything. So more engineers, more power drain. That's all there is to it. And as always, your ACU uh, leaves the base as soon as it gets too expensive to keep assisting. That's why it's here now. So watch your eco bars and uh, make sure you move it away at the right timing. Engineer 3, 4 and 5 expand and reclaim. The remaining engineers can build power generators and reclaim. So uh, usually you have like uh, one or two engineers on uh, power spam. That's typically enough on this map. And about the expanding engineers, we have uh, one expansion route that leads into one of the expansions where the engineer constructs all mass structures on the way. So, for example, this one, this one, and this one. And uh, then builds uh, the hydro and some radar. Another expansion route is formed by the triangle of mass structures. This one over here. And uh, the outlying mass structures in the same expansion. And the last expansion route is uh, mass extractors on the way to the other expansion, the hydro and the some radar. So in this case, this mass extractor, this mass extractor, this radar, build a factory on the way, and the hydro is going to be constructed soon. And the ACU is uh, going to build the rest in this expansion. So you probably want to have at least uh, two factories in each expansion in addition to the factories in your base. So uh, two here, three here actually now, and the two here are under construction. One is going to go up here, and the other one is going to be constructed here as soon as this uh, bot is going to die. And uh, if you no longer uh, need any units in the expansions, you can switch them into engineers and reclaim. But uh, if you think you could use some extra units, perhaps you have a breach into the enemy side, you can add more factories and destroy the enemy expansion. So right here uh, we have a breach. This is just some small raid the SUs here, so this is no realistic uh, breach. We can just keep up and uh, 
you know, the night is expansion. But on the other side, uh, there's the ACU and uh, there are several rate groups. So uh, this is uh, this is a breach with potential. And that's why I'm adding uh, way more factories than usually. So usually I would have two factories in this expansion. Now I have four. And the ACU is also moving up. Construct at some point defense to keep uh, the bottom expansion safe. And then it's going to try and take out some uh, stuff in the top expansion. So yeah, you can use plant defense to close uh, this entrance. Make sure that the range covers it all. So the range over here. Well, there might be a small run by here actually, if uh, the units are micro extremely carefully. So just check this out. There's a small gap left. If you want to try to avoid this. Be careful about it. Don't massively over or under, uh, under invest into point defense. And uh, generally, you should only build point defense when you're expecting an attack. So uh, let's talk about unit compositions for a while. The land factories uh, are going to construct uh, standard unit compositions, except for the first one that uh, builds engineers on infinite. Now, the first one should probably make two tanks and two scouts after five engineers to defend expanding engineers against early raid. So that's been something you could see earlier in this replay. Uh, but then it should probably go back into infinite engineers. And well, about the air factory, this one is going to open with uh, scouts and interceptors. There's really no point in going bomber first, because if your bomber is supposed to bomb expanding engineers, you can afford to bomb it a little uh, to to build it a little later, because of the high travel time on this map. So the expansions are very far apart. You can see that clearly, and even a late bomber after two or so interceptors can still kill the expanding engineer before a factory is up. And this is exactly what happened here. So this uh, factory was destroyed by tanks, but uh, before that it had been delayed by bombers, because the engineers trying to construct this factory uh, have been killed multiple times. So on this map it's better to have a late bomber and air control than an early bomber that gets shot down and then you don't have air control. Once you hold your expansions, uh, the clearly structured part of this build order ends. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you want to start echoing uh, because of your good unit positioning, it's very hard for your opponent uh, to punish you for echoing. If you have units in every uh, every gap that forms an entrance to your territory, then uh, there's really uh, not going to be any point for your opponent to try and, uh, and raid you. So. Uh, and that's when you start echoing, get a few T2 mass extractors, and after that you want to get uh, some T2 land upgrade, and uh, you construct T2 power with that. Non-Aeon factions can get some T2 tanks, and Aeon will probably start T3 factory upgrade fast after the T2 upgrade is complete. And uh, after the construction of the T2 power generator, which you of course uh, need to assist to finish it faster, uh, you want to get some T2 air. So, if you realize that uh, you win air hard, then uh, you can go for a snipe, like I'm going to do in this replay. Uh, you can also raid with your D2 air, and perhaps you can even do a calm drop, so lots of options. This map is fairly large, so T2 air covers a lot of ground very fast, that's why it's a pretty good uh, investment usually, way better than T2 land. And if you happen to win air, but you don't have the eco to build tons of air-to-ground weapons, wait for your T3 land factory upgrade to complete, and uh, drop some T3 units on the enemy side of the map. You can see there are lots of uh, hills here, so it's easy to sneak something in. If you lose air in the T2 stage, uh, please uh, just uh, try harder next time, I guess. If you uh, can't win the game with T3 land unit drops, you should get a T3 air factory upgrade, a T3 power generator, and uh, you should make air superiority fighters and strategic bombers. That should get the job done. If not, the game enters the late game stage. That shouldn't be radically different from other maps, so you should probably know this part. So I guess uh, let me just uh, summarize the top reasons for dying again. Uh, the first one is that you didn't close the gates before enemy shit got inside. So if you fail to hold this choke point, uh, stuff is going to be uh, pretty bad. So for my opponent right now, because uh, they didn't close these choke points, uh, the game is not as enjoyable as it could be. So uh, remember that the pool is always closed and mobilize your personal army to block the entrance fast. 
The second prominent reason to die is uh, that you equal too early or too late. Too early is uh, before closing the gates, and uh, too late means you didn't start echoing after closing the gates. So you couldn't convert your map controller reclaim and vanish into uh, mass extractor upgrades. Another reason is uh, that you got killed by T2 air. Well, <laughs> boo. If you're trying to figure out how this could happen and see if it was a mistake in an expansion and map controller that led to it, uh, before blaming it on the T2 air stage itself. In some situations you may die to T2 air because you weren't aware of it, but typically it's because you just uh, lost one of your two expansions and that's how your opponent could afford T2 air and you could not afford the counter. Another reason uh, why people lose, which you also often see, is um, and that they think they can intercept the T3 land unit drops before they land on their side of the map. That's very naive. The map is large and full of mountains, so chances are that the enemy will find a way to sneak in a drop. Either outspeed your enemy with your own T3 land unit drops, or prepare something that kills the enemy drops after they landed. And the last reason is probably that uh, you stopped playing after your T3 land unit drops didn't work out, and uh, well, what, what can I say? Uh, the game continues, so keep playing, get T3 air, and then follow your late game plans. So, I hope this tutorial helped and uh, it gave you some idea of how to play this map. If uh, you like this, feel free to check out my other ladder tutorials too. The link to the playlist is in the description below. Good luck, have fun in your games, and uh, happy cleansing! <laughs>